When I got the scholarship letter in the mail, I felt really proud of myself, like all my hard work had paid off. It was really an honor just to know that I had been chosen above so many other qualified individuals. The support that you're providing students like me, it really, really helps. Hard times for a lot of people out there, and it's great to know that there are others that are willing to donate to help students finish their education. Opening the mail, it's extremely exciting to see that I've been awarded all of these scholarships. Well, with swimming, it's opened a lot of doors. Our 200 free relay made nationals, which um, is a pretty big deal for um, the women's team. And I'm actually hoping to um, get a future job in either a kindergarten or first grade classroom. That would be my ultimate goal. Because of Edinburgh and my work with Dr. McLaughlin in the psychology department, I'm a published author right now in a neuroscience journal, which is huge going into a PhD program. Also, I have become so involved with different organizations on campus and just ways to kind of expand my own horizons and get to meet new people in different facets of life. Opportunities to go to leadership conferences, to go to national neuroscience conferences through these, these organizations like Psych Club and Psy Chi and Phi Sigma Pi has been just overwhelmingly amazing. I know a lot of people that have to work two, three jobs and do take their classes, you know, and plus they want to have extracurricular activities to improve their resume and learn new skills. And, you know, because I have this scholarship, I can spend more time working with Tri Beta, the Honor Society, and planning meetings and speakers and, and doing things like that that if I had to work and go to school, I might not have any time. I guess I could picture myself moving down to Latin America and researching uh, dung beetles in the rainforest or something like that, you know, and then going on to become a professor because I really do love teaching. One thing that I think is best about Edinburgh's biology and health services department is that our class sizes are quite small, starting at the freshman level and going all the way through senior and graduate level. And so you get really a lot of one-on-one -on -one contact. And although we're primarily a teaching institution, we have very active faculty doing research. And um, in fact, one of our faculty just got their paper published in Nature. And then we had another faculty member have a paper published in Science. And our students have been placed um, during the summer at some very interesting places as far as internships. They worked at Presque Isle State Park. Uh, we had a student who did one at Harvard Forest and worked with Harvard University, do whale watching in uh, Boston. A good success in placing our students in um, internship programs where they would like to go. With the scholarship, I do work a lot harder. I, I have to keep a grade point average and it really helps me strive to be better. All the professors I've had have been really great. I feel like I learn new things every day and I feel like I'm growing as a person because of them. I'm in a few clubs. I'm in Clay Club and then I'm in the Student Art League and we run the Bates Gallery on campus. My overall goal is to one day be a college professor and teach at the art level and then have my own studio, teach on the side to like younger kids and live independently of, off my work as well. Well, I'm the university pre-law advisor, and our pre-law students are spread out across the university. They're not all political science students. We have business majors, history majors, and English majors, and so on. So what really unites them um, is the pre-law society, and that's where the students can get together and share their interests um, about the law. We do a lot of things to help them prepare for law school. For example, we schedule uh, visits to different law schools. We also do um, preparation for the LSAT, which is the standardized exam. And we do a lot of fun things. We schedule panels on campus and talk about different controversial legal issues. Um, one of my favorite classes has been Political Thought with Professor Fisher. Um, it's an amazing class because I have an interest in politics, but I also get to see it in a more abstract way. Um, not in so much the boring historical sense, but you get to think about the philosophy of politics. So you get to read uh, Aristotle, Socrates, and see how their uh, thinking relates to politics now students at Edinburgh are interested not just about uh, extracurricular activities, they're interested in academic extracurricular activities and they really do have a fulfilling intellectual life at the university outside of their classes. Well, outside the classroom I work for classroom technology and basically if there's a problem in a classroom we fix it uh, pretty much anywhere on campus. Um, I also I'm on the pre-law society um, and prepare students for the LSATs. I'm also involved in orientation and that's during the summer and 
I'll meet all the new students and their families. Um, after college, I plan on going to law school, and I'm more interested in corporate law. So uh, Edinburgh's preparing me with there's a, like a business law class. I'm interested in getting that later on, and afterwards, I don't know, maybe politics. You have to be here to realize how great it is.